how are we all doing today? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you all had a lovely day. Oh god, my voice is going already. That's not good. <laughs> <coughs> there we go. Uh, hello, hello. Happy Halloween. Uh, thank you, Rin, for the wellness combo. Do, do the stretch. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh. And, uh... Drink, I was going to drink water, but I got my tea. Hi, hi. Uh, hello, Blizzy. Hello, Nexo. Hello, Metal Priest. Hello, Rin. Blizzy, thank you for the pet and the kiss. Uh, doesn't help that my stepmother has COVID. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hope she get but She... Uh, bleh, 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 bleh. <laughs> I hope she gets better soon. And it wasn't as... It's not going to be as bad as what I had it, because that sucked. Uh, kiss for you, Blizzy. Mwah. Uh, hi, Raccoon. What did you do to Cat? Well, uh, today I, um, uh, I, I am meant to be a doggo, but the closest thing I had to a doggo were, was Raccoon. So, <laughs> so, uh, I'm half Raccoon, half Slime. No. One third Slime. What? No. I'm confused. Um, raccoon dogs are a thing. Raccoon dog? Raccoon dog! I am raccoon dog then. Because <laughs> uh, I play a doggo in today's game. I have decided Spoopy is not for me. <laughs> I truly regretted playing uh, Spooky's Jump, Jump Scare Match or whatever it's called. Uh, so I'm going to do a start a new trend of uh, wholesome Halloween. <laughs> Uh, you big baby. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was. Um, Spooked Cat is not for me. <laughs> well, I tried. Like, you know, at least I could say that I tried. Dartwood wasn't bad, but I feel like it, it's going to be slow and a slog. And um, 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 I've not got the patience for that. Um... To be fair, Spooky still gets me even as adult. The DLC is even scarier. Drops all the silly pretense that goes full horror. Oh god, yeah, no, that not for me, not for me. Uh, I'm all for wholesome Halloween. Wait, what? Yes, wholesome Halloween. Wholesome Halloween. Uh, cat hips. Uh oh. Uh uh. I I've not really got a way to hide them. Uh. Um. <laughs> there we go. There's my hips hidden. Uh, 33% cat, 33% dog, 33% slime, 1% horny, 100% bad at math. That is exactly right, Sum. You have some... Sum has summed it up. Uh, exactly right. That, that, that's good. That is good math. Unlike me, who's 100% bad at math. Uh, considering my life has been flipped upside down, doing surprisingly well. Very next time in my previous course of studies, which I'm now not allowed to continue anymore. So currently in the process of switching to a sort of new career. Still going to be a teacher, but pretty different kind of school and different subjects. I'm sorry to hear that um, you failed your exam. I'm sure you did your best. You did what you were capable of doing. And I've, I'm I'm an advocate of no exams. Like I did exams uh, for for work stuff, and I failed. And yeah, I think it should all be based on uh your 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 skills that you have and your ability to learn. And uh, exams don't do that, unfortunately. So I'm sorry to hear that, but uh, I also believe are things that are meant to be. So. You know, maybe this new new change of career will be actually what you want to do. You just won't see see it yet or know it yet. So I wish you all the best, Nagsor. Um, can't be worse at math than Neil. Oh, oh, I'd be surprised. Speaking of exams, I had to do a maths exam that I never actually finished because I failed four times, and then I just went, you know what? Fuck it. I don't need the qualification. <laughs> uh, two plus two is four. Minus one. That's three. Quick maths. See, even that would confuse me. <clears throat> Studied for over a month and even the professor said I'm really good at the subject. I'm just shit answer questions. Exactly, exactly. Like, exams don't 
you don't learn anything from exams. It's just a box ticket exercise. But I won't go into a massive rant about it. <laughs> because we'll be here forever about the educational system. Uh, Kat is... Well, can't even read. Can't even read. Kat, what is 8 minus 5? 3. 2. 2. 3. Oh, Christ. Um, just don't make a mistake and go self-employed without knowing it's what you want or you'll be trapped like I am. Oh, Rin, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you, you find yourself untrapped or find something that you do want to do. Um, uh, I hope it gets better. Uh, yeah, I, I can't go on because there will be just a run about the educational system. But let's, let's continue on with our wholesome Halloween. Oh, God, you're just as bad at math as Nia. I told you guys, I told you, I can't do maths. <laughs> we are playing a cute little game I found on Steam, which I've wanted to get for a while. It sort of popped up in my recommended, and it's called howl o -ween, where you are a doggo uh, that is trying to get all the Halloween candy. Pretty much, pretty much the base of it. Uh, let me get over to the game. Very cute. Uh, from what I've seen so far. Ah, uh, that is Doggo! Let me make sure audio is all working. Ah, uh, when you said you were bad at maths, I thought higher maths, not basic maths. Oh, I'm so bad. I'm so bad. And I'm not ashamed to admit it. I'm not ashamed to admit it. Some people just get stuff like that. I don't. A dog that's trying to get candy sounds like it's going to have a very sad ending. I'm hoping the candy is dog chocolate friendly. Yeah, dog chocolate friendly. Halloween. Different brains work differently. Oh, believe me, my brain is special. <laughs> not and not in the good way. Uh, maths is my worst subject. Be barely scraped to see in GCSEs. Oh, I got a D. I got a D. And even that was with extra uh, help. So I'm just finishing my tea. I had a Stroop Waffle today with my cup of tea just before we started. I enjoyed it immensely. Uh, we, me and Mooney uh, have become hooked on Stroop Waffles. And um, Mooney had one the other day that he didn't realise was sinking into his cup and then it just sort of dropped. And now we know what happens if you drop a Stroop Waffle into a tea. Uh, to be fair, I cheated, had notes hidden in my sleeve. <gasps> How did you manage that? I could I couldn't be that uh, sneaky. I'd be so sus. We actually had chocolate snacks for dog. We had was chocolate especially for dogs. Dog did like them, but I did. Wait, they were chocolate snacks that humans and dogs could have? Damn. All right. Uh, yeah, so this is Doggo. I don't know if we have a name. We, I'm sure we will find out. And uh, we are going to do some Halloween trick-or-treating. If it's safe for dog, it's safe for humans. Oh, okay. Here at Pratchett Farms, you'll find the secret ingredient in our world-famous gummy corn. Can you guys hear that? It's care. It takes care to whip up a batch of hyper-fructose corn slurry. It takes care to pick every gummy corn cob by hand. It's quiet. No okay. Shortcuts. And it takes care to bring a little bit of sugar to the children around the world. <laughs> I have to wait till the cutscene's over. Tastes better. Colonel Pratchett's gummy corn. Take a moment to take care. Are the the corn things in America? Are they actually good? Because I've heard they're not. Uh. Literally just wrote down notes on a piece of paper and kept in my sleeve. Made sure nobody was looking into it peaks. It's quiet. So long as it's not raw meat because humans often can't handle that as well. Oh, okay, okay. Devil, hello, hello. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. My maths teacher in grade 11 and 12 brought me down from a B to a D. And D, or 4 and 5 in Germany, we use grades 1 to 6. Yeah, in final test, I had a C again. Uh, teacher dependent, one bad maths teacher can ruin the whole subject for you. Damn, that sucks. Okay, I can't get to the menu just yet, so I'm going to turn up on here. 
Um, which is annoying because it's one of those games where every time I tab out, you can't hear anything. I just have to use my judgment. I've heard Candy Corn is just like Haribo. Haribo. What? <laughs> I recognize two words in that. Haribo and Kinder. What do I give for some gummy corn? Eva. I can't believe all my friends are out having fun on the best night of the year and I'm stuck at home. What kind of parents force their kids to stay home on Halloween night? Again! It's got to be illegal or something. These will be when I'm president and handing out fruit instead of candy will be a federal crime. And how can mum possibly forget to pick up the limited edition Colonel Pratchett's Haunted Gummy Corn? She knows they only come around once a year. Um... Kids and grown-ups love it so, the happy word of Haribo! Uh, fuck iOS keyboards, classic German commercial. Your children may be kind, but in Germany they are kinder. <laughs> uh, candy corn is acquired taste, but I like it. I don't think we really get it, or uh, similar over here, other than Haribo. I'm sure the big house down the street is giving them out too. I'd sneak out to score some if Dad hadn't already caught me four times. No costumes, no candy, no friends. This is the worst Halloween ever. But you look about 10 and you've got a bed that fucking size? Damn. Go on, little pup, get out. Maybe if I go to sleep, I'll wake up and this will all have been a terrible nightmare. Is that our name, little pup? Are we a Pokemon? Uh, right, let me, oh God. Let's turn the music up. Uh, and now I will turn it down for you guys. Just a tad. Just a smidge. Okay. There we go. And I also need to turn it down for me. Okay. How is that? Oh, when I tab out Blizzy, it stops all the sound, which is annoying. But, uh, blaring, blaring, somehow louder than before. Oh God. All right, I will turn it down on the game. Is that better? Better? Go, go. Let's sit, doggo. No change. Okay. Uh, I'll turn it down a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> uh, by the way, today I had the weirdest encounter ever, and I have to tell someone because it just flabbergasted me. Great word. Uh, so this random dude comes up to me in the street. Tilts his head and says, you may have long hair, but I have a long dick. Refuses to elaborate and leaves. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough, I guess. Um, no change. It's possible it was just that cutscene. It may have been the cutscene. It may have been the cutscene. Uh, cat, can I use you as a bottom pillow tonight? Yes. <gasps> sausages! How do I grab the sausages? How do I grab the burger? That's it. Oh! I got the burger. Burger is in the house. Uh, also currently food coma. Why, why are you in food coma? One trend I'm glad finally started dying was games putting cutscenes on the same audio channel as music or SFX. There's like adverts on TV. Okay. Uh. Sit. Bark. Pick up. Camera. Oh.
Uh, stuff. Uh, that magic burger or oh, very sticky. Speaking of burgers, the girlfriend comes over tomorrow and we make burgers together. Nice. Nice. Oh my god. There's a squirrel! Oh, didn't mean to look at the dog's butt. Uh, ordered food from a very good, a very cheap Chinese place. Oh, nice. <gasps> There's a hat! A hat! I would presume that's a hat. Okay. I have no real clue what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna guess. Oh! Hey! Now what are you doing out again? I only have human treats tonight, and I've gotta save them for all the kids. We got Germans in chat and a German on screen. Ah! I see what you did there. Let's get you back in there, little pup. Can't have you getting lost on Halloween of all nights. And you stay or I'll have to call your parents. Great escape. Find a disguise to sneak out the yard. Hat. Where was that hat? I don't think that's a hat. Can I get back in the house? So confused. Oh! Ghost! We can be a ghost! This dog is very cute. <gasps> we are ghosts! How did we put socks on? <laughs> We're a papa ghost! Uh, oh, we got a quest. Uh, explore the abandoned house. That's so cute! That's so cute! Ghost dog. Oh, hey, sweetie. So your parents decided to let you go trick-or-treating after all. Oh, dear. Your costume is just something else, isn't it? How dumb does she have to be to not realise that's a dog? Um... I love this dog. Little pup evolved to gr gri Grivard. Here, you deserve a little extra for such a special outfit. I don't like the fact that it's an old woman in a Wonder Woman outfit. Uh, I made sure you keep an eye on little pup. You already caught them trying to sneak out tonight. Nice. Trick or treat at the big house. She just forgot her glasses. True. We did the great escape! Alright, let's go! Get those sweets! Can I, can I have the witch's hat? Oh! What is this? Why do I need it? Uh, silver foxes can sport the sport sport Keeny 2 cat. That is true, that is true. I like this game. Silver foxes can be very sexy. Uh, I am an e hag, so I suppose I should be welcoming. I am Flamingo! Do not mess with me. Okay, uh, do I have like an options? Okay, <gasps> these are all our costumes! Our quests, badges, okay, I've got a feeling this is a very simple game, but that's fine. <clears throat> Sweet! Oh! Great costume! Great costume! Jelly Kid! Where'd that dweeb run off to? Mom's gonna kill me if anything happens to him tonight. Uh, Flamingo. Flaming O. O stands for oxygen. Cyberpunk reference. Oh. Why is it suddenly my responsibility to take care of this klutz anyway? He would have been just as happy staying home and playing video games all night. That's a great way to spend Halloween. Uh, random dad joke of the day. I refuse to believe I was gay and dyslexic. I was in Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
like it. Do you see any weirdos around here wearing a giant piece of toast? My goofy twin brother got scared by some monster and ran off. He can stay missing for all I care, except I'll never be allowed to go trick-or-treating again. Oh, he's such a freak. I'd go look for him myself, but I'm too embarrassed by the matching costumes our parents forced us into. Plus, he keeps challenging me to a duel, and frankly, I'm not interested. There's no way to treat your sibling. Look, if you find him, just tell him to find me. We've still got three more houses to hit up before bedtime. Okay. No way to treat your sibling. Who got a tree? Mad scientist. I freaking love science. I wanted to teach it my whole life. And that rat principal Lester wouldn't let me do it just because when I was on the school board, I did all that embezzling. <laughs> oh, Christ. Um, opened the fridge today and blushed. I saw the salad dressing. <laughs> I like that one. I like that one. Uh, do you know why I like my stereo more than my ex? Why? If there's anything I love more than science, it's embezzling. Why do I sound, say that so weird? So it's a real personal dilemma. Do you see that old battle axe? Lester, tell him it's not just the entire periodic table of elements I memorised, but also his personal bank routing and account numbers. Holy shit. The stereo was high fidelity. <laughs> Here, I made some smalls candy with my butts of burner in the lab. You gotta love it. Thank you. I swear I just saw some Pringles. Uh, what's a triple A studio's favourite cereal? Cap N Crunch. How do you determine the gender of an ant? Put it in water if it sinks, girl ant if it floats, it's boy ant. I don't get it. I thought that because I'd like you actually could turn down your stereo's volume. Oh, come on now, guys. <laughs> I know you got better jokes. Buoyancy floated. Oh! Oh! I get it now. I'm not just any wizard. I'm a financial wizard. A math magician, if you will. Can you teach me some maths? I've clearly demonstrated uh, I'm not very good. My kids think it's lame, but what would they know? When I was their age, I was cooler than they are now. They are all athletes. Meanwhile, I was the youngest vice treasurer of the future CPAs of America in the history of the organization. <gasps> I felt like a mouthful. Um, what's a game does reaction to seeing maths? Ack! Division. Your mum is so nice she gave me cookies. <laughs> Here's some candy. Don't spend it all in one place. That kind of behavior is not financially prudent. That is very true. That is good life advice. Oh, we're gonna look at the kitty cat. Why do I just hear laughter? I don't know if I like that. Oh, we gotta find the person in the toast outfit, don't we? Developer spotted a fly with a script. Now the fly does his job better. Stick it to the script. <laughs> what happens if someone sp spells you? At high frequency, it hurts. Spouse you. There's Toast Boy. Oh, there's some sort of Arthurian beast roaming these parts. If I had to guess, I'd say either a chimera or a wyvern. Oh, shit. Slap. Ah. Just look at the bite it took out of my crust. Oh, shit. I mean, I'm not scared or anything, of course. I just don't feel safe at night without my bow staff on me. That thing would have been toast if I only had access to my collection in my mum's basement. Hey, do you think you can find me something I can use to defend myself? Perhaps a knightly broadsword or even a shuriken throwing star? Shuriken translates a hidden hand blade in ne Nihongo or Japanese to the American layman like yourself. <laughs> anyway, an instrument from a mar any martial tradition would do at this point. After all the Japanese manga I've read, I have become a master of improvised combat. Just bring me something I can use to protect myself against that beast. I love this game. Uh, why can't Minecraft players win arguments? They always hide behind blocks. <laughs> uh, fast typing. The PB kid. Find a weapon for self-defense. 
Did you bring back something I can use to protect myself? I mean, these hands are registered weapons, but you also have carpool tunnel from doing PC aim trainers. Uh, not sure if I already told the one, but I think that what's Peter Pan's favorite place to eat out? Wendy's. I don't remember that one. Earlier, I was playing a PS1 game where one character's Japanese and calls everyone Gaijin, even when she's the foreigner. Um, that's a zombie. Hi! Go as a zombie, they said. You'll be hit, they said. It's just that like half the town has the same costume as me. But it's a, quite an easy thing to do. Oh, there's Wonder Woman. Didn't I get these? I guess not. Cupcake! Banana peel. There's so many candy. Um, we, he wants something martial artsy, doesn't he? I don't know why I'm going into the woods. That's that's not safe. Oh, whoa, whoa. Uh, knock, knock. I want to suck. I want to suck. Dang, I always forget the line. <laughs> Here's some candy. Thank you, Mr. Vampire Man. So much candy. This is too much sugar for one one doggo. He wants to suck dick. Sure to watch her freezing. Blah! I don't really know what Frankenstein says. Who? I haven't even seen the movie. My wife said she wanted to do a couple's costume and I thought she was going to be the bride of Frankenstein. But then she came out dressed as Victor Frankenstein. <laughs> anyway, that was last year. We're divorced up. Aww! Taking a trip down memory lane, I guess. Here's some candy. Hey there, before you go, any chance your mom's single? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. That's quite sad that he's still doing the couple's costume. Oh, I'll do it with you, mate. Pumpkins! I've got this, boy. Do you need this? Uh, quote, suck. I will admit I've been looking down a lot of porn. Cat hoardy. I'll have you know I have not today. <laughs> wow, an ancient Chinese tiger fork. Where did you find that? Give it here. Let me hop down real quick. Time to pay the piper, foul beast. Have at thee. Good lord, this again. Uh, Emberry! Thank you so much for the resub. Thank you, thank you. You get uh, nine kisses for nine months. <gasps> mwah, 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 mwah. Thank you, thank you, Emberry. Hope you're having a lovely day. Um, thank you, thank you. No, oh no, that idea with Victor was cute. That is very cute. Uh, how are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you, Emberry. Uh, not today. What? Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, about the porn thing. Um, I would hold anyone's tail. I would. Ah! Where have you been, tough guy? We're running out of time to hit up the rest of the houses. I've been training for this fight of my life. Something you wouldn't know anything about. I train all the time. I'm all state and track. You just swing nunchucks around in your little karate class. It's pronounced nunchaku. And it's not karate, it's ok Okinawan. Kabuda. Karate is way off the empty hand. <clears throat> Daisakin! Hello, hello. Those were eight kisses. You are now trapped in a haunted primary school. Oh no, not the primary school. Not a British primary school. Uh, the ghost of my house wants to start harassing my guests. I told him to lay off the booze. <laughs> karate or karate? Ka I, I would say karate. Uh, whatever. Anyway, thanks for helping us out, kid. 
Many thanks, young square. Find me if you ever find yourself in need of a knight. All oh, the candy! We've done the PB kid. Thanks again for helping us out. It's going to be a long few years. I wonder how many other kids that monster spooked tonight. Bet nobody else climbed a tree though. We also did pe <gasps> We got a Naruto! No, we didn't get a Naruto thing. We got a Naruto uh, headband uh, badge. The PP kid? The PP kid. Peanut butter jelly time. We've done the PB kid. Now to find the BJ gal. I have a yellow belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Sensei told me I graduated at the top of the class. The one other kid in there just couldn't take the heat. Plus he had IBS. <laughs> oh, this is cute. All right, I presume the houses that have lights on I can go trick or treat of. It's a oh, hello. Oh. Oh, thank God. I thought you were going to be my ex. He keeps knocking on my door saying that he forgot something here. I keep telling him he's also forgetting to sign our divorce papers, but then he just dashes. Oh no! Um. What's IBS? Irritable. Irrit oh god. Irritable bowel syndrome. There you go. Uh, but then he just dashes. I wish you'd stop playing these games and just move on. If you happen to see him, tell him I moved to Europe. But he just wants to do costume parties with you. I have the cat. The cat is now mine. Okay, Quirrell. Oh, I have 1,420 pieces of candy. That is a hell of a lot of candy. Uh, just remember the difference when you go shopping for PCs. Cat, <laughs> uh, you know which costume you need? Postman. Postman cat. Postman cat. Postman cat is a black and white cat. That would be good. Go as postman cat. You might think it was a lost year for me. The fact is I went for a lot of personal growth. I learned to love who I am and be more vulnerable in relationships. First I learned how to do gangman style by watching YouTube videos. Check it out! <laughs> Look at him go! Oh man! He's rocking that gangman style. Oh he's still going! Still going! <laughs> um... God, I, that, that's probably aged this game. If it's doing jokes about Gangnam Style. Can I trick or treat you? No? But you got your lights on. Unless this is my house. Is this my house? Gangnam Style. Uh, I remember being in primary school when everyone thought the postman Pat crashed his van and killed his cat version was the funniest thing ever. Crash. Um... I've not heard that one. Well, admit, I've not heard that one. <laughs> Mamma mia! I'm the famous chef girl RD, but you probably already know that. No reason to freak out, but I'm sure you recognise me from Gooky Kitchen on the Chow Network. I'll spare you. <laughs> Last week I made a sorbet out of pork rinds and squid egg. That sounds disgusting. I baked a lasagna out of tortilla chips and grapefruit. What do you mean I'm crying? These tears, tears, these tears streaming down my face. It's just because I was cutting onions for this. Uh, oh jeez, I'm a fraud. I don't know anything about cooking. Every day I go into that studio and just wing it. He said, "Fake it till you make it," and now I made it, and it's awful. Please just take this terrible fettuccine Alfredo lollipop I made it and get out of my sight. Thanks! I guess. I tried squid ink. Don't like it. No thank you. Oh! Look at it! Look at it! It's a little slug jelly. 
so cute. What up, bro? I'm the Jim Reaper. You won't catch me munching candy tonight because I'm on a keto diet all the time. I'm making mad gains this month. I'm shredded under this costume. You're just going to have to believe me. Monday is back in arms. Tuesday is quads, traps and delts. Wednesday I work the dupes, snaps and flimps. I take Thursday off because Friday... Oh boy, Friday. It's all fing f fingy muscles, baby. Those interphalangeals aren't going to work themselves. <laughs> uh, here's some candy. Don't worry, they're safe. They were keto friendly sweets. Someone needs to tell this dude then. Why is there a crib in a garage? That's creepy. <laughs> Halloween night. A playground for sugar addicts and doled up phonies. Anything that keeps me going on nights like this is the job. And tonight the job is clear. Catch the monster has been terrorising the town. Uh, no refeed. You don't let babies drive cars? Fascist. <laughs> Luckily, brilliant detective that I am, I engineered a solution not unlike my after-school book club attendant. Perfect. Behold. A box with a stick. Over there with a carrot as bait. You see it? A genius, right? I chose the carrot because I read that you could see them better at night. Or was it the other way around? Anyway, the bait isn't working and I need a quick fix. Stat. Pronto. I'm talking yesterday. As soon as possible as possible. So if you find something that will make good monster bait, let me know. I might toss a few sweets away for your troubles. Find something to bait the monster. Does he want jelly? All these people just talking to a dog like it's normal. It is... Uh, it is strange that no one realises that I'm a dog. Moulded jello. Just like blue jeans and a red convertible. Classic. This is perfect. I have to put this bait to good use and catch this monster. He's like the arithmetic average of a set of numbers. Mean. <laughs> I like that. That's a math joke that I like. Curious how that works with the costume? Uh, well now I look even more like a superhero. Thanks kids, see you down the line. Stay sharp. Yay! Turns out the monster does like jelly. Okay, so done that house. Sweets here. If you say anything to a dog other than sit fetch and who's a good pup, yes you are, who's gonna smush your what widow face, I'm just gonna assume you're mental. You don't just look like a superhero, you are, at least in my heart. Oh, thank you. You're, you're too kind, too kind. Looks like someone needs the help of the slimy raccoon. Na 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 slimy raccoon. He's still going with the Gangnam Star. Uh, your power is given super head. <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm saying nothing. Who the fuck would have that on their house? That's terrible. Oh my god, there's a wolf man. Hi! Werewolf kit. Oh no, it's a kid. <laughs> Sorry if I scared you. There's just too much freaking stuff on me. I can't even breathe. My mum does movie makeup for big budget Hollywood films and this year she went a little bit overboard with my costume. A little bit? A little bit? Dude, you're tall with long arms. Uh, seen romance options for the new Dragon Age game and I can tell you, I'm going horny. <laughs> that will be your class. Horny. Uh, I 100% would have that on my house. It's scary. Scary ma- it's sca Scary boy. Um. Honestly, I don't even like scary movies. I'm nice. I like yoga. I want to dress up as a downward face- <laughs> Um. Dress up as downward face a dog. I guess you didn't quite understand. She works for Umbrella, give her a break. <laughs> no, nope, we'll be Myris. To make matters worse, all my friends keep running away. They think that I'm the real monster terrorizing in the neighborhood. How do I make myself less scary? I would try to offer free hugs, but they thought I was out for blood. 
Then I tried to do the Bujangazana Cobra pose and they thought I was howling at the moon. Kanari have horns, so they horny. Oh, I see, I see. Maybe if I can find some kind of silly accessory to wear, all my friends will know this is just a costume and stop running away. Can you help me out? I will do my best. Find something silly to lighten up the costume. Oh, the hat! As much as I hate being scary, this whole debacle. De 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 there we go. It's going to look great in the morning. Oh, I. I skipped that too quickly. Uh, I can give him the hat. Uh, hat was at my house, wasn't it? Where is my house? I don't really have a map. I just gotta, you know, assume I'm going the right way. Oh, hey there. Zoot! My mum doesn't normally let me play in the street. I've got to get my field tonight. Hey, Zoot. What are they calling all of these kids? They at least look like teenagers. Honestly, werewolf in a top hat would go pretty hard in the middle of the street. Ah, house. In the middle of the street. Ah, house. Well, oh, there's more up there. Right, before I venture too far, I need to find my house. Which I think I've just gone in circles. Maybe we're operating on Lucky Star logic. Maybe. I found the old lady. There we go. Hat! I can't grab hat. Hat is not hat is not the the objective here. Ah, that's why I couldn't trick-or-treat that house, because that is my house. I've got to find something else. Someone said something today, and because of it, a song has been stuck in my head non-stop. Which, which did they say? This isn't a costume. I'm deeply, deeply wounded. Please call the hospital. <laughs> I must have wandered out of my hospital room. I took too many of my pain meds, blacked out, and just woke up here. But don't worry, I'm having a good time. <laughs> Oh, I love that. Costume. Oh, costume for sale. Ah. All the fidgets. Oh my god, I have not heard tattoo in so long. So long. Damn. Uh, hey kid, must be new around here. I see you're in the market for new costume. Why am I saying things weird? Costume. Relatable after one bad night of drinking. <laughs> Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, the bed sheet look is classic, but you're gonna need something a little less basic if you want the good candy. Oh shit. Too bad I sold out two hours ago, but for a cool cat like you. Ah! Ah! I'm a dog! I just said cool cat. I think I might have something in the back that would look good. If you have enough candy, that is. You see, your money's no good here. I'm one of those, what you call it? 501c3 non profits. I'm a pillar of the community. With a glorious moustache. Um, God damn it, getting copied again. <laughs> uh, adorable kitty. Bye, Kim Pichu. Hope you're having a lovely day. H how are you doing today? Uh, there's a great cover that's on by Chase the Comet featuring Lena. His hands also has quite a sexy video. I think that's how it should work. If you show up to my door dressed as a fairy or cowboy, you ain't getting no candy. Put some effort in. <laughs> uh, I've only got trick-or-treated a few times in my life. I think the first time I was uh, a devil. And the second time I think I was a vampire. Uh, I'm a pillow community, and if anybody wants to see my books, they can talk to my accountant. His name is Fernando, and he lives in the Cayman Islands. Anyway, instead of cash, we do ask for a mandatory candy donation for every costume. You know, to keep the lights on. But you shouldn't have any trouble finding candy tonight. Looks like tons of houses are open for business. Just give them a knock. You could also ask some of these other kids in the neighbourhood for a loan if you're running low. I'm sure you'll find someone in need of a sharp thinker like yourself. 
As a werewolf the first time, a zombie the second. Ah, that's cute. My uh, uh, brother, Cat Moon, um, he once had... <laughs> even though his birthday was nowhere near Halloween, he once wanted a Halloween-themed birthday party when uh, he was younger. So he went as a mummy and me and sister Cat Moon went as witches. If Cat would come knocking on my door as a fairy or Cat she would get some treat at least. Never went trick-or-treating, it was not really a thing over here when I was a kid. I mean, I'll be honest, now it's like, it's effort. <laughs> um, my nieces and nephews all go to Halloween parties rather than trick-or-treating. And that way they get, they're, they're safe and they get more treats because there's like cake and sugary stuff and all that sort of thing. Trick-or-treating I think is phasing out. Uh, check out the costume shop. Oh, we're Papa Geist! Okay. Bark Widow. Oh, God. Uh. Bark Widow is 600. Hit the club. Help a damsel in distress at the den. The hottest dance spot, dance spot in town. Well, that's just terrifying. Fucking hell. I don't like that. Male Terrier. You are served. Start opening mailboxes. <gasps> I can be Postman Cat! Spooktacular. I have one Halloween story. The second time I went trick-or-treating with some kids from school, we were on the way back and this lunatic came running out of some bushes screaming at the top of his lungs. Ran right through us and fucked off. No explanation. <laughs> that sounds about right. I'm a little postman cat. That's very cute. Postman cat, postman cat, postman cat is a black and white cat. Can I, can I get up here? No, I can't. Can I go in here? Yes, I can. The dog's working, don't disturb him. He's a good boy. You know when you see dogs with jobs? I get so tempted to just give them my little pets, but I know I'm not allowed. It's so sad. Now I open all the mailboxes. Uh, cat, I've got a package for you. <laughs> there seems to be a letter inside. Dear mail carrier, please find the enclosed divorce papers for my husband, Franklin N. Stein. He lives next door. Wait, you want to divorce your husband, but you've moved in next door. That's kind of shitty. Deliver these papers to Mr. Stein as soon as possible. Be advised, Mr. Stein has become alarmingly adept at avoiding previous cows. Be vigilant. He's more wily than he looks. Um, it's sad. In general, you shouldn't pet any dog you don't know or have permission to. Yeah. Beware of postmen disguised as dogs. They might bite you. <laughs> Eternal regards, Countess Vampirus. Uh, I mean, I can try and deliver him the papers. Whilst he's doing his Gangnam stuff. Oh wow, a special delivery. Boy, do I love mail. Probably from one of my many secret admirers throughout the neighborhood. I can't wait to read it. Let's see. Darn! I'd love to take a look, but I forgot my reading glasses. These peepers aren't what they used to be. Let me grab them and I'll be right back. Don't you worry. Sit tight, brother. My specs are just inside the crib here. Why is he walking like this? Bet's a glass, of course, and crib means house. He's run away, hasn't he? Ugh, fucker. I hope one day I'm able to have a dog. Me too. Me too. One day. This is the, the equivalent, by the way, of in the UK them covering up potholes. That This is the sort of job that they do. Ah, uh, candy fish. Whatever that means. Uh, thank you, Pichu. Thank you for throwing something. I don't know if I want to go in there. It looks scary. Uh, council doesn't even do that yet. We're still at sorted for council tats. 
Ace Girls. Alright, I think that means I need to find a way to go in the water. I think it means you need a fish costume. Ah, that makes sense. That's a fucking big ass scarecrow. Uh, I got wings. Oh, for the werewolf. He could be a fairy wolf. This reminds that RPG you played, the one about Halloween costume. Oh, costume quest. Yeah, that was good. Oh my gosh, I've always wanted to be a fairy. Let me try these on. Oh, ah, look how cute. How does it look at me? Am I any less scary? Thanks so much for your help. Here, take some of my candy. I honestly can't stand the stuff. Thank you. Wings. It's more like antlers. I'm liking the way... Ah, I'm liking the way I look at this accessory. Get it? For the H degree lycanthrope or werewolf in our American idiom. Hey, maybe I can get into the spooky stuff after all. It's like a Balverine from Fable. He... Yeah, actually. Now that you say that, I see it. I do see it. There's another costume I could buy. The huge rip in the costume wasn't there when I sold it to you. And that goes for all my costumes with rips in them. Uh, Alright, so we got the weird spider one. Mermut. Dogosaurus. Astro Pup. Mermut's probably going to be the one. Out some crustaceans find their forever home. I love how this pup managers have the little boots on it. It's never explained. I know. How did it get the bra on? <laughs> Let's see if I can get in the water now. A pretty little mer princess. Very pretty. Oh, now I can get in the water. And apparently it can survive. There's one that's like a tentacle. So cute. God, I don't know if I like this. God, it's become like Subnautica. Christ, it has become like Subnautica. <laughs> Mermaid costume all gives it gills because why not? Why not indeed? Oh no, I don't like underwater. It's so scary. They don't let you shake your fur to soak people. <laughs> what is that shark? No, it is a seal or walrus. <clears throat> Red Bull gives you wins, Fishtail gives you gills. Exactly. Why is there a truck in here? What happened here? What the fuck is that? Pirate ship? And another truck? What are these people dumping in here? There's a basket? A bus? Stingrays? Pirate ship, jellyfish. Where the fuck am I? <laughs> a shed. There's a shark. Is this man eater? Oh, I hope not. That fucking house. 
That's a church. We've got a church. Holy fuck. What the fuck happened to this town? And there's nothing in the church? What? That seems weird to me. I can't, like, swim. I just walk on the ground. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm so confused. Reminds me when I played Ark, I was swimming in the super shallow river and suddenly an alpha megalodon appeared. Like, that's determination. <laughs> but that would terrify the life out of me. What the fuck is this all about? I have a feeling this is going to be like for a quest or something. Because there's nothing here. Bit of candy. Uh, I played that game to try it, special therapy for two of my phobas. Did it work? Oh no. And we just go deeper! Must be some Spongebob reference hidden. Possibly. The fucking safe. Oh, there's a shark. Don't kill me, shark. Some loungers. What the fuck? For sale. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. I got a boot. Does anyone need a boot? Was this the whole reason for me being here? Oh no, what is that? That's a whale. Dog kind of looks like a growler from behind in this costume. Cat, what's the difference between a dirty bus stop and a crab with booze? I don't know, what is the difference? I'm going to take the boot with me because I'm sure it's going to be for something important. One is a crusty bus station, the other is busty crustacean. <laughs> Oh, I like that. I don't really he hear the term rusty bus station. Well, I got some extra candy from being down here, so I suppose that's something. Where the fuck I am, I have no idea. Oh, the candy. Um, you haven't been down to Croydon. <laughs> That's true, I haven't. I like that the tail looks a bit dinosaur-like. Okay, well, we explored the water, which I think that's all we needed to do for now. Uh -oh. Put the, the boot here in case I need it for anything. Alright, um, what are our quests? We need Dogosaurus, Astro Pup, Gummy Corn. Explore the abandoned house and help a nervous phantom impress their boo. Um, how do I go down? Oh, there we go. Uh, all your human wants for Halloween is gummy corn. The big house has tons, but you'll need a unique costume first. Uh, it's got battle axe qualities. Uh, help a dancer in distress at the den, the hottest dance spot in town. Find the right mailbox and deliver the bad news. Oh, we've done that one then. 
Uh, freshwater bungalow. Find some eager crustaceans looking for their for forever home. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, BRB, no worries, Blizzy. We locked these. Okay. So we need to find crustaceans. And get candy. Cute costume! I worked all year on my kid's werewolf costume. Have you seen it? Wait! Why are you an assassin? A busty crustacean? Maybe. Maybe. Didn't leave me a lot of time for my own, but I still look pretty cool. Look, if you see them, try to toughen them up a bit. They scare easy and aren't really into the spooky stuff. Bet their plug there is when the monster mash comes on. Anyway, enjoy your night, kid. I love the monster mash! Uh, damn, Shinobu Jacobs fell on hard times. I don't know who that is. So this may be a reference to Austin Powers. Maybe. Maybe. Alright. Uh, I forgot to go to this house with a giant spider. No more heroes character. Oh. I still don't know what that is. <laughs> hey, sorry it took so long. It's freezing in here. My husband thinks he's some kind of handyman and he broke the furnace. He was trying to fix the dang television. Damn. How did he do it? He went down to the basement looking for batteries for the remote. Stepped on a rake going down the stairs and a bucket fell on his head. And he was stumbling around bumping into everything down there screaming, Who turned out the lights? Now kid you not, a little flock of birds started circling his head. Next thing you know it's 50 degrees in here. You know what? I still love him because he makes me laugh after all these years. Aww, that's so cute! And you call yourself a gamer. Ah, uh, I'm a sheltered, sheltered person. <laughs> Damn the angel's cute. Reminds me of how they tried to fix the TV in Fairly Odd Parents. Oh, I have not watched Fairly Odd Parents for years. Wait, she was just complaining how hot it is, and now she's out there. My husband and I decided to build a fire instead of monkeying around with the furnace any further. He's in the forest getting logs, and honestly, I don't expect him to come back in one piece. Still laughing. She's still having a good time. Jane, hello, hello. How have you been? Hope you've been looking after yourself. And if I change into... The male one. Um, and I um, I have to go to the shop to change. Um, oh, parents, fairly old parents. Yeah, I have not watched that in so long. Uh, no, not. That one, I want that one. I need 1,000 and 1,400. Uh, I've been doing good today. Good, that's what I like to hear. Hear that you're looking after yourself. He looks like uh, Will from um, Baldur's Gate. A red sun sets in the distance. Blood shall be spilled this night. Happy Halloween, young child! Would you like to hear some famous fantasy story quotes in authentic Elvish? I've got a plethora of them. Not interested? That's fine. I just entertain myself. I am Ma Presta Iron Ha Maffin Ni Nan Han Maffon Ni Che A Han Nostan Ned Willif. Um, I gotta scoot out for milk. BRB. No worries, Rain. Go get that milk. Hope you enjoy the milk. Whatever that means. <laughs> oh, okay. I can only open these if I am um, male carrier boy. So I'll go do that and I'll go get sweets. Can I borrow some of your milk? Yes. Great right on cereal. Get the girls out.
Is that the haunted house over there? That might be. Alright, Gangnam Style man has left, has he? Open all the mailboxes, get all the sweets. I just checked the wholesome tag on Steam and was presented a game called Wobble Dogs. <laughs> Sounds cute. You fucking laughed at me. Karen! <laughs> what a cute kid. Hey, can I ask you something? My daughters used to call me mum, but then they found out my name was Karen and they keep calling me that. Suddenly it's Karen, don't call the manager. And Karen, don't alert the cops. I have no idea what they're talking about, do you? Fine, don't answer. Do you want me to call your mum? I swear, um, I mean, here's some candy for you, you sweet, sweet baby. Wow. It's definitely a Karen. Cat is playing this game like she's actually a dog, just running in the middle of the street. Is that Lee? That, isn't that what we do? I just read online what this Karen nonsense is about. It's downright disrespectful that people call me Karen. I mean, yeah, it's my name. Ugh, you know what I mean. I'll just start going by my last name. But butts. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Uh, oh hey. Sometimes the apple does fall far from the tree. That's okay. You gotta love them anyway. I just wish they watched Food Network Halloween specials for me because they say it'll keep them up all night. Pizza! Your blood! That's what I wanted to suck from before. Someone remind me. Kind of gross if you ask me. At least you, you now know. Fucking hell, this guy's gone hard with the decorations. Uh, I'm back again. Welcome back, Lizzy. Hello, I'm Dan. That's all. I don't have anything particularly interesting or funny about me. I'm serious. Here's some candy. Run along now. It looked like he was doing a, a satanic ritual then. Cat, if I was a ghost, you could call me Rick. Why? Is this a joke I'm not understanding? Ahoy, matey! Have you heard the tale of Horde and Gordon? Legend has it old Gordon knew all the best spots on Hallow's Eve. Every year he brought home a hall of sweets so big even Colonel Pratchett himself would tip his hat. But old Gordon had a problem, you see. He couldn't stand the fort of losing his stash. And no matter what goodies he brought in, he'd eat nary a bite. But every year the pile would grow larger and poor greedy Gordon would grow thinner. Treasure grew and grew until it formed a tomb around him. Legend has it the treasure of Horde and Gordon lies in the very burg. I know because I saw it myself. I followed this here treasure map to the forest maze round that big house. But just when the treasure was in my sight, the wickedest beast I'd ever seen has reared its ugly head. An impossible horror it was, with teeth as sharp as a rare cheddar and breath twice as stinky. I was so spooked I dropped the treasure right where it lay. Follow the owls through the trees and you just might find it. If you somehow manage to recover the booty, I'll be happy to split it with a scallywag like yourself. If you make it back alive, that is. I will do my best. I will do my best. Um, I had another game. I had to post a not super work. Check it out. <laughs> uh, Rick Gaslick is never going to give you up, never going to let you down. That Rick joke just got ro rolled. God damn it. I did think that this might be a Rick roll, but I just wanted to double check. Most zombies want brains, but me and my crew have an insatiable hunger for Colonel Pratchett's gummy corn. Rumour around town is that big house over there is hoarding some. This big house, or that big house? Senjo! Hello, hello! How you doing? Welcome. We are having a lovely day. It will be doo doll. Please 
police woman, please put your hands where I can see them. Just kidding, I'm not a real cop. This is just my costume. But if you touch an anything around here, I actually will call the police. Including your voodoo doll. Oh, hey, there's a wizard. Oh, and the vampiress. If you want to see some real magic, try making regular Matt's, Matt's monthly contributions to your Roth IRA. Oh boy, get it. So I just thinking about it. You got a couple of butts I could borrow? I came out to get a breath of fresh air and Frankenstein was doing some kind of dance across the street from my house. Now I'm over here hiding until my kids get home. You've got kids as well? God damn. Uh, I'm great. Oh, you all are well. I'm doing good. Thank you. I'm doing good. Cat, you gotta admit my Rick Roll joke was a good one, wasn't it? It was very good. I didn't understand, and so you got me. Cereal. I'm not buying this ice cream. I'm just smelling it. Nothing but clean eating for me, I promise. Sometimes I like to just look at it. My gains are still mad, bro. I swear. Don't sniff the ice cream. That's weird. Don't do that. Why? Why must I work on Halloween? I should be out there with my friends. Who will come buy snacks on Halloween night anyway? I had one customer all night and all they did was smell the hot dogs on the roller over there. Don't do that. Sort of like you seem to be doing. Stop that. I will stop it. I'm a dog. I'm allowed. Or not a dog. You're not allowed. Right. I think we got to the end of the street. Dead. Stop. End. Apparently there's a dinosaur in there. What a place to live. Cat, I switched fours for Spooktober. Ah, I see. I see. I can never remember the name of that one, but I do see. You're the fancy ghost. <laughs> Mistrevis, there we go. Hi. Hey, thou I know ghost, be gone. What, well, I've got a fucking chainsaw. What do you want to do about it? Hey? Hey? God, spider. Lots of crows. Oh, I got a feeling I got to change into the ghost. That makes sense. I need to still be doing the um the mailboxes. Sanjo, thank you for the wellness combo. Mm. Yeah. Uh, mischievous pulls hair. Uh, mischievous pulls hair. There we go. You're pulling the top of my hair like Ratatouille. Oh, this is the church as well. Oh god! All of the gravestones have candy on them! And there's a ghost dinner set? What are you doing here? Katatui, exactly. Did you know that mit mit mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell? What else? Chlorophyll. Got that stuff in plants. It's green. And finally, who could forget? Who am I kidding? I can't fit straight. Got some pressing business to attend to with Principal Lester. This ends tonight. Fuck! What are you gonna do with him? Corn! Corn! Give us the gummy corn! We want the corn and we ain't taking no for an answer. Damn. I was obsessed. Right. No. Can't swing the swings. Uh, that doesn't have a mailbox. 
Ah, oh, another poser. One leaf falls on the ground and suddenly every little Miss TikTok becomes an off-brand Elvira. Meanwhile, I'm out here putting in the work being witchy all year round. Middle of July, 100 degrees in gym class on dodgeball day. You better believe I'm out there throwing heaters in a black floor lent frock. Last August, I went down a water slide in 5 inch black platform winkle pickers. The lifeguards were not impressed. So Halloween is my holiday, which means it's time to assert my wicked dominance over the rest of these normies. How will I do it? Well, every witch needs a familiar, and I know exactly what creature to enchant. That's right, the monster itself. Imagine it, the gothest girl in town rolling with a real life fiend at her side. All I need to do is cast a spell powerful enough to tame it. And you can help. I just need a cute animal as an offering. Don't worry, it doesn't actually have to be alive, jeez. It could be a toy or a plushie, just bring me something cute and I'll handle the rest. Ah, that's what the cat was for! Did you know Mercury is in retrograde? Oh, of course you did, I'm losing my edge over here. I mean I didn't, so don't worry. You, you're doing fine. There's something cute right in front of her. The doggo! Doggo is cute. Oh, there's another chainsaw. Uh, oh, we've done that house. I mean, there's a big old cat here. Why don't you use this? Uh, didn't get you. He also didn't get you. Another trick or treater. As a teen, I'm too mature for trick or treating. That's right. I just do adult stuff now on Halloween. I bet you do. Uh, things like handing out candy and making punch, and like going to the orchard for a day of apple picking. Which is way more fun than getting tons of free candy and hanging out with all my friends out there like you are. Have some candy. I've got tons of fun growing up stuff to get back to here at the house. Whatever keeps you happy. Whatever keeps you happy. Uh, I'm going to have a quick pee pee break everyone. And um, we'll be back with more dog shenanigans uh, in a moment. Don't go anywhere. I'll only be a few minutes. And uh, yeah. Bye bye bye.
I'm back. I'm back. Hello, hello. I just went to go make myself a lemonade as well. So uh, that's why I was a bit longer. Um, Rottweilers are also great dogs. They are. A friend of mine has a Rottweiler. And it's very cute, called Shelby. Um, I just heard that beat. <laughs> Uh, milk acquired, typically it started raining the second I left the house. There was an adorable bulldog mix outside Morrison's and you also managed to buy the last pack of cheese twists. Nice, nice. You enjoy those cheese twists. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Thank you, thank you. That is a very cute emote, Jane. Very cute. Oh, look at it, it's a little bear. <laughs> All right. More Halloween shenanigans. Okay, we got the post spots there, didn't we? I wish I had a map. So I could see where I've been and where I haven't been. Uh, I don't think you're an actual house, are you? And that's the forest. Oh, can we get in the greenhouse? Yeah! Oh, someone's having a pie. <gasps> Dog biscuits! Find someone incriminating of the fact that you're a dog. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you mean. Um, my uncle had a Rottweiler. He would growl at people that would reach for his chewing stick snack thing, but not me. I could just grab it and he would look at me with sad puppy eyes. Oh, So cute. Oh hell yeah. We got it by the horn. Go swimming. Ava Mooney would be jealous of that bear or just want it. <laughs> he would probably be jealous. Well, that's spooky. Alright. Just a minute. Currently scooping up two heaping handfuls of delicious haunted gummy corn. Gonna tuck a hundred dollar bill in this one. Oh, hell yeah. You again, in a complete off the rack costume set. You think that impresses me? Do you see this house I live in? A free jacuzzis and an above ground pool. My water bill also would bankrupt a lesson man. If you want to impress me and get the sweet, sweet haunted G corn, then you're gonna have to get creative. Show me a costume I've never seen before or get out my sight, you cretinous urchin child. <laughs> Damn! That was mean. Uh, it's also gotten very loud. Let me just turn it down a little. Uh, I have more currency and bear you. That's what your wife said. I'm Joe. Joe Mama. <laughs> he looks like the guy from Toy Story 2. No, for real, that's my last name. It's a curse. Stop laughing. I'm sorry, Joe Mama. You can't rush out. Uh, right, we did that house. I'm not doing the mailboxes. I keep forgetting. Now I have more candy. I can go buy um, more costumes. Give me all the candy. Give me all the candy. You know, it's a common misconception that the dialect of the Shiva Sif tribe was influenced by Quenya and elves. Considering the deep guttural nature of that. Hey, where are you going? I mean, I'd love to listen to you, but I've got candy to get. I love his little booties. That's so cute. 
Uh, alright. Well, we want to get... Uh, Dogosaurus. <laughs> Look how cute! Thank you, Rin, for the wellness combo! Oh! Ah. Dogosaurus! And we're ten away. <laughs> ten away from um, the other costume. So cute. If I had a dog, I would dress it up like this. Right, where have I not been? Oh, they've got wind turbines. Do the people react if you bark next to them? I could have sworn I had a dog around here somewhere. Am I like the only dog in the village? Oh. Hey Wonder Woman. Don't mind me, I'm just sneaking in. What are you doing here? It's you! I've been doing some soul searching and decided to get back to my roots. Gardening! Why pretend to cook when you can grow tomatoes during peak season? Late fall when all the flowers are in full bloom. Thank you for dragging me into a career crisis. You're welcome. That's it. The dog's name is Daffod now. <laughs> I just understood. Right, let's go have a look in the woods, shall we? It's uh, from a show, Little Britain. Very old show now. Very British show. Hence the name. Very much won't be allowed in today's society. Oh, there was a thing. There was somewhere I could go as dinosaur uh, doggo. That explains. I would have explained further, but like I said, it very much wouldn't be allowed anymore. Uh, it's like somewhere down here, wasn't it? Born! My hometown. Did not expect to make a little brain reference today. Some sort of party going on. Um, I haven't found it yet. <laughs> it's somewhere around here. Well, that's the spooky forest around here somewhere, isn't it? I pretty much checked the parameter, I think. Oh no, wait, it's over here. I said I needed the dinosaur outfit. Oh, we're going into Jurassic Park. What the fuck? Wait, are those squirrels in dinosaur outfits? They are. That's so cute. That's so cute! Uh, Little Britain ran a German TV until 2020 or so? Damn! How that happened, I don't know. Dino squirrels! Why are there just crashed vehicles everywhere? What the hell's been going on in this town? 
Oh shit, we're going into proper Jurassic World now. Nice game, pea brain. You fell right into my well laid trap. That wasn't even real turkey. It was too furky, you absolute clown. More importantly, you've just become the main attraction to the most exciting thing to ever hit this neighborhood Triassic Park. I've been cooking up something big in my lab here, but she's not quite ready for the spotlight yet. In the meantime, my scientifically accurate, painstakingly handcrafted costumes for the local squirrel colony should do the trick. The butterbrain losers in this neighborhood will have no idea. They could tell a dipologosaurus from an aphalodon. Um. Are you in a Monday for the pets? I hope you're doing good. Uh, maybe that's where all the dogs went. Maybe. Forget embezzling with the money I make on entry fees alone, I'll be able to amass enough wealth to finally crush that rat Principal Lester for good. Well, to be honest, I'll probably keep embezzling. On account that I love it so much. <laughs> now wait here, my pretties. Time to open the gates and let the cash start flowing. Oh, and don't go sniffing around neither. Can't have you teaming up with the squirrels, releasing my secret creation and unleashing havoc on the neighbourhood, can we? Because my business insurance definitely won't cover that. Okay, I am in Jurassic Park, it would seem. I mean, as long as I get candy, that's all I care about. Guess I gotta find a way out that isn't this way. Well, that was a weird noise. Oh, over here. Make sure I get all the candy. Oh god. Go look at chat and then run into a wall. Oh, hello! Hey you! That jerk with the glasses got you too? What do you use this time? Peanuts? Walnuts? Pecans? Listen, you gotta get me out of here. Do you even know how many Colonel Patrick peanut poppums they've got sitting around town tonight? If you get me into that lab over there, I might be able to bust this out. Got a friend on the inside who will know exactly what to do. There should be an open window over on the side that I can squeeze through if you bring me something I can jump on. Ah, oh, okay, something you can jump on. Interesting. I'll see what I can do, my squirrel friend. Right, uh, something you can jump on. I mean, you could jump on me. I think. The this game also feels a little fever dreamy. It does. I'll probably have dreams about it tonight. Maybe the turkey? No? Weird noises going on, guys. Uh... You want something to jump on? Do not see the thing to jump on. Oh! There we go. Um, the arachnid lady called me a creep. Guess I got what I deserved after I spied her. <laughs> nice. Squirrel! 
This box is perfect. Let me take it and put it here. All right, I'm going in. If I'm not back in 10, forget about me. Just tell my family that I'm nuts about them. But I'll be all right, so long as you sit here and stand guard. Oh my God, I'm the squirrel. I'm the squirrel now. Oh my God. That took me a second. Oh, wait, we're in the lab. We're in the Jurassic Park lab. It's so cute. A note on the floor. Cutie. Ah. Damn. Who just piles their chairs up like that? In a lab of all places. I've got these, these screens are all blue screened. That's not good. My usual walk around pass is a clearing with one tree in it and there's always loads of squirrels around it. Oh, that's so cute. They'll be getting ready for winter right now. Uh, what the fuck is that? That is a genuine dinosaur. Holy fuck. Must have been the windows crashed the other day. Let me go get my candy first. Uh, look at the thief. Is that maybe the friend inside? That may be the friend. I'll just grab all this. Oh, where the hell am I going? Anything in it? Oh, 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 no. Okay, I'm good. A real life dinos, wait. Candy, priorities. It is priorities. Teeth is Dutch for bitch. I guess that candy's all getting squirreled away. There it is. Oh, God. Super speedy, slidey squirrel. Don't blame me for that pun. I'm nuts. E. I am on the dinosaur. Oh god, I'm in the dinosaur. Hi. I don't think you can hear me. I'll go back up. Inside? Inside her? I hardly know her. If dangerous, why so cute? The squirrel or the dinosaur? Okay, I can't go that way. The dinosaur. I was just thinking, squirrels are cute, but they could be very dangerous. Also in the Rick and Morty episode where they start chasing after him. Uh, if dangerous, why waifu shaped? Oh, am I going to turn off the lasers? Oh, I did turn off the lasers. Uh oh.
Uh oh. Spaghettios. Oh my god, I'm the dinosaur. Oh, hell yeah. I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing, but I'm the dinosaur. Uh, don't worry, it's just a big or a carnivorous squirrel. Did you just give up on costumes and start brain jacking other species? It seems like it. It does seem like it. And we gotta free the squirrels. That's what I'm doing. Oh, no, I'm just... No, I'm ruined! I knew this was a mistake to keep a dangerous killing machine like that locked in here with virtually zero security. And the real life T-Rex probably wasn't a great idea either. Well played, Principal Lester. Well played. This won't be the last you see of me. Okay! We now just have a T-Rex on the loose. I don't think I was actually allowed to leave um, as the T-Rex. There's our friend! Tag me in, big guy. I've got some peanut poppins to procure. Oh. Oh, I can swap. Interesting. All right, pal, enough waste of time and go get that gummy corn. All right, I will come back to you. I'll come back to you. Um, clever girl. I get it. Clever girl is raptor, not rats. I've never seen Jurassic Park, so I don't know. Uh, I need to get my ghost outfit on, don't I? Oh, there it is! Hey! I was the one who got you out! Oh no, you good boy. Wasn't Jurassic Park there? Oh. I don't know movies. <laughs> Was Jurassic World. Okay. Which one's that? Okay. Dogosaurus. Nope. Find a way to blast into outer space. Oh, it's a little astronaut. A little astronaut. All right, I just need to do the ghost one first. Uh, Jurassic World is the bad sequels to Jurassic Park movies. Is that the one with the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy? Okay. Uh, explore the abandoned house. Uh, gummy corn. Help a damsel in distress at the den. Mailbox. Mermaid. Pirate, you want to plushy? Find a way to blast it out of space. One, two, three. We've got three, three quests to unlock. And we've got a lot of badges. Um, bed sheet is the best costume. It's simple but effective. It looks like a little beagle in the ghost sheet. Yes. Ah, I see. I see what you mean now. I've not watched those either. Um, I wish I had a big dog to go for walks with. So cute! You could dress up as a ghost. Alright, where is Ghost House? Hey! Ah, 
Privy, listen here. I am terrified. This is almost time for my date, and I cannot be think of where to take the gent. I've been sitting here on my booty for nearly 200 years trying to think of a valorous spot, and I'm still none the wiser. You seem a fine dandy. Can you help find a, a place to bring my beloved? He's a playful fellow and a fierce competitor. He's the reigning tiddlywince world champion, and boy, can he trundle a hoop. We need a nice intimate space where you can have some fun. I'll go with you and let you know when we found the perfect place. Oh, okay. Very lights, fun. And it needs to be intimate. Uh, I probably get one of those light up costumes for night watch. Oh, that's so cute. Guess this ghost has more booty than boobies. What kind of date brings their gent here? We need some place where we can finally get some rest. A, a graveyard? Oh wait, what about over here? It's perfect! Is that what I had in mind? Now, if I could beg once more for your kindness, could you fetch me my boo? His name is literally Boo. He's white, with black eyes and floats. So look for the best dressed gent in the haunted forest. Thank you again. I shall await your return. That's very cute. Uh, someone around here breathes post and you often see the little glowing harnesses waddling around in the dark. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> that's very cute. Uh, right. Okay, we're in the process of that one. Maybe we haven't done that one yet because they have a tick when they've been done. Uh, you want a kitty cat, don't you? I grab you a kitty cat. I did have a kitty cat. Somewhere. Someone keeps laughing at me as well. Oh, hey! Hey, hey you! If you happen to see any mail carriers around here, give me the heads up so I can get out of here. Not that I'm dodging all my personal responsibilities and holding all my loved ones back or anything. Definitely not that. Dude. Uh, King Boo or Queen Boo? Um, we all want a kitty cat. I mean cat. I mean cat. <laughs> Why don't I feel like yawning right now? Because it's wholesome Halloween. And in wholesome Halloween, uh, it can get eepy. That Frankenstein's voice sounds like one of the sanity effects in internal darkness. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Oh, where was the plushy cat? I can't remember. Unless you want a flamingo. Oh, that might do. The little spider. Let's say find the plushy cat. Oh, that's plushy cat. That's better. Oh, no. Spooder. Coot Spooder. Oh, it's near the church, isn't it? Near the little tippy tappies of his paws. <laughs> Kitty! Who's a widow cutie patootie? I mean, um, yes, this will do fine. Now to begin the ritual and take command of the beast forever. As for the help, kid, I guess you're not such a fairy after all. Here's some candy. Thank you. Find a cute little critter. There's one spider hanging around behind a photo frame in our living room. I used to feed it flies. <laughs> you're a braver person than me, Ren. 
uh, wrong button. Uh, okay. Remember to follow the owls, so that's probably the forest. Find some ego crustaceans looking for their forever home. Help damsel in distress at the den, the hottest damp spot in town. The den. Uh, that's not going to be the den. Uh, I just dropped one, so I swatted into its web. <laughs> now, I have a very much a big thing about bugs being in the house. They're not allowed. Oh, I did hear music, didn't I? I can find where that music is. Oh wait, I should probably change into the spider outfit first. Because it was linked to that. Do any more to sell, you don't. Uh, spooda, spooda, spooda. I don't like it, it's creepy. I wish I had that mentality in. I just, I don't know what it is. Like any, any sort of insect in the house. I'm like, nope, don't like it. Where was the place with the music? It was near the big house, weren't it? I find the big house. I actually have an old flash drive somewhere with spider blood stain on it. That's dark. <laughs> Uh, go to bed soon, cat. Get all the doggo candy and have a good night. Good night, Metal Priest. Look after yourself. Get lots of rest and hopefully see you again on Saturday. Bye, bye, bye. Uh, I get it. Don't worry. Insects generally represent disease and decay after all. That is true. That is true. Good night. Bye, bye, bye. Is this the way to the big house? I don't think it is. What way is it to the big house? <clears throat> uh, no, that's petrol station. Uh, not that way. This way? Yes, it's this way. It's like round the back of here somewhere. Definitely heard it. You definitely hear that. Oh, is it going to be in that? Okay. Boy, bye, boy. Okay, we're in the haunted forest with weird looking owls. And eyes in the trees. Oh, hey! I've been swoggled a lot of dirt. Oh, okay. I got a boutique of peppers. I'm either dead or alive. I don't know which until I open the box. <laughs> I see them. Never open the box. Uh, jingle jangle. Oh, that's the treasure I need, isn't it? I'll come back for that. Who up swoggling their dirt? Oh! Dan's the best. He walks the balance between Ephraim and Corporeal really well. Hey, Dan! 
You again? I already told you there's nothing interesting about me. The ghost, oh did I say? I'm a professional summoner with a legion of ghoulish soldiers. Ready at any moment to storm the living in an act of final reckoning. But if you expect me to say something interesting, you're barking up the wrong tree. Okay. He's got nothing more to say, even if I bark. Mr. Boo Jingles was a reference to an older movie. Oh. Oh, hey! Ooh. Yeah, no, it's not that creative. Leave me alone, please. Okay, I need to become a ghost to talk to you then. Oi! Welcome to the den. We got specials on venom shots and bug like buckets. Enjoy yourselves. Oh, hell yeah! Oh my god, it's a spider butt party! That is one big spider. I can't believe this. Here I am, supposed to be cutting a rug with my sisters the day before my wedding. And my fiance Webster goes missing. Right when I was getting hungry too. The so-called best man texted me and said Webster didn't show up to his bachelor party. Now nobody knows where he is. And here I was thinking we had a perfectly toxic relationship. I saw him right before we left the house. He was looking like a whole snack. Mmm. Why would he leave? Please find my fiance and bring him back. Better yet, do me a favour and give him these. He'll know what they mean. Trust me. Are they handcuffs? They are handcuffs. Would you go to a club with a load of spiders? Said that she found him by a house, didn't she? Which I think they have seen a spider. Alright, um. Go do this one first. How do I get out of here? That's the eye. I don't remember seeing a grave. So I'm confused. Good ghost on the trampoline. Nice. I'm pretty sure I came from this way. Uh, oh, I did not like the way that I sort of flicked around then. Uh, monster! Hello, hello! How you doing, monster? Hope you're having a lovely day! Thank you for the raid! Mooney, please give a shout out if you can. Thank you, thank you. Uh, yes, yeah, so hope you having a lovely day. Hope you had a good stream. Uh, you ever seen the video of dogs chasing people in those costumes? I have, I have, and I would never put someone through that. Uh, when I was a kid, we had a beagle that was named Bojangles. At least I think that's how it's spelled. <laughs> uh, I think Mooney's doing a quest thing. So, oh no, Mooney, you did it! You did it! Thank you, Mooney. Um, how was it, monster? How was metaphor? I'd be more worried about the dog getting kicked and panicked. Me too, actually. Uh, right, it's done this way, wasn't it? Tired, it's your turn to entertain Aqua. I will do my best. I will do my best. You go get rest, monster. Go get rest. Get all the sleepies. Metaphor is incredible, totally recommend. Ooh. I'm sure I saw a spider in here. I could be wrong. You're a spider. Are you the dude? 
I don't think you're the dude. Um, I miss my neighbors to our Ralph, who's such a sweetheart. Or is that it was Sinner Spider? You're a dog dressed as a spider. I can also dress up as other things. Just right now I'm looking for a spider. T-Rex! Don't ask, monster. Have you seen spider? Uh. Spider dog. Spider dog. I'm trying to think the rest of the lyrics are not coming to me. Chihuahuas can be some of the cutest, sweetest little fins, but unfortunately they'll get spoiled to shit. Strange thing is, I used to be indifferent to dogs, didn't care either way, found them irritating at worst, but somehow in my 20s I had a change of heart and now I love them. <laughs> Aww. Uh, was it a spider in the water? I don't think that was. May have to do a Google. Just for the spider. I don't think I've seen one. I'm, t I'm just gonna do a cheeky Google, as, as Rin is saying. A, ch a cheeky Google. Cheeky Google. Cheeky Google. Halloween. Game. Oida. <coughs> well, what do you know? There's not a lot <laughs> that can help me. Uh, guides. There are no guides. Uh, does whatever a spider dog or spider does a geeky chuggle um spider spider no okay i've got i've got to use my own knowledge you're not the spider i'm looking for Oh hey, it's the the fancy car. We've moved round a bit. Spooda. Spooda. Right. Oh, it's astronaut. Okay. Spoida spider. It looks like I've got pants on my head. <laughs> Gotta have a bowl of Kellogg's fruit and fibre. <laughs> You have two pairs of ears now. No, I don't. No, I don't. Shh. Okay. Where are you now, spider?
Okay, I am going to leave them there. I'll go change it to my ghost outfit so I can get at least the ghost on its date. Uh, so I don't know where the spider is, so I'm just going to do the other quest and then hopefully the spider will show up. I want to change to ghost dog. <laughs> that can't be the spider, surely. That's a decoration. I'll remember that. Uh, I need the haunted forest. Where is the haunted forest? Over here. Follow the birds or the bats. I'm gonna keep that in mind, the big spider on the house, just in case. Let me just go get the ghost boy. And the treasure. But I'm gonna get so lost again. I thought he was on fire then. <laughs> Alright, ghosty, lay it on me then. What news do you have for me today? Wait, you mean Bootiful did all that for me? Of course! I would have nothing more to go on a date with her. I've ha heard enough drama from all these 20th century brats. Lead the way. I could never thank you enough. I have not felt a peace such as this in many years. A few would excuse us. We have an eternity of catching up to do. Who are you gonna bark? We did it! Quest completed. And so much again for bringing us together. This is the greatest day of my whole afterlife. Aww, that's so cute. Right, let me go give this to the pirate boy, wherever they may be. Thinks here? Oh, you're the Karen. God, I need a map. You're the pirate boy. Blow me down, you made it back alive. And with the treasure in tow. Here, let's split the treasure. You earned your keep, lad. Don't let anyone say you ain't a salty sea dog. I am definitely a salty sea dog. <clears throat> Who are you gonna bark? Ghost poppers! Yeah. Okay. Oh. So, we still need to do that one, and that one, and find a way to blast some tower space. But I'm gonna go change it to spider outfit. I'll go back to that house. Um, oh, I need to get the keys as well, don't I? So, spider is by big house. I need the haunted house, which is near petrol station. I think it is. That's funny. Last night I jumped. I had a boat. I'm on a boat. Motherfucking boat. I think I'm going into hibernation mode because every time my alarm goes off in the mornings, I'm like, no, not interested. Not today. Sleep is more important. Hello. You can't, you can't be the spider. Surely. Surely. You've got to be a decoration. I don't think that's the spider. It's not giving me any ways to talk to it. Okay. 
I don't think that's a spider. Don't blame you, especially when it's getting colder. Exactly. Colder and darker. Uh, okay. I will figure out the spider one. Let's put our mail, mail, mailbot suit on. I'm going to speak to Frankenstein. Oh. Never mind. Uh. Oh God, where did I kick those keys? Oh God, that might be a problem. Oh. I'll find them. I'll find them. But I need to find Frankenstein now. Which. I can't remember where he was. He was somewhere, like, at the back of a house. I can't find a guide anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> One of those games. I think he was back here, wasn't he? Yes. There you are! I looked back after grabbing my glasses and you were gone. Are you avoiding me? No worries, just hand over those papers. Nothing I love more than signing court documents. Shoot, looks like I forgot my pen. Class and me. No worries though, I have a writing utensil behind this bush over here. A high quality pen. Smooth as silk, gel pen. No way that signature is getting smeared. Gel pens are the worst for smearing! Are you a ballpoint kind of guy or a gel fella? You strike me as a gel fella. And he's gone. Right. Uh, I don't know if it's true, but chat GPT says the spider is in the graveyard. I didn't even know chat GPT does stuff like that. You try to trick me. Maybe I need to be wearing a spider outfit. AI has some uses. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see if I can find dude again. It could be wrong, mind. It may be wrong. Oh, wait! I found him! Alright. Oh, he's right by the T-Rex. Okay, remember this. Remember this. Right by the T-Rex. T-Rex, you were a good boy. I'm going to lose it laughing if it's in the graveyard. <laughs> I need to find the guy, the Frankenstein man. He's running away from his responsibilities. Behind gas station. For spider. Shrek is coming out the well. Ah, uh, Spider behind gas station. Okay. The time I asked for birth dates of horses within a specific range and every single one was outside that range. <laughs> oh damn. Pretty sure this one or this one was the dude's house. Probably be around here somewhere. I'm 
Maybe. Have you seen a Gangnam Style Dutz and Frankenstein? Must be here somewhere. Somewhere probably obvious. Oh, you know, now that we know where the spider is, I'll go, I'll go change. We also need to find where those keys are. I wonder if there's a thing we can get different Dobries like in Fable or Arizona Sunshine 2. I don't think it's that advanced. Um, it didn't let me choose dog breeds. Alright, that's the kit, the key things, the handcuff things. Now I'm not overly sure if they're still here. It may have glitched out. For we know. Uh, I hope I can find them. There should be like a sniff, sniff for stuff. That's that. That's not going to do it. Even in Assassin, uh, no, even in Arizona Sunshine 2, you only got two breeds. What well, I think is a German Shepherd and the Corgi DLC. I would definitely go for the Corgi. Oh man, where are you gone? Squirrel. That wasn't a real squirrel, apparently. Zombie apocalypse with your corgi buddy. Hell yeah. Oh dear. Alright, let's go to behind the gas station, see what he says. Hey pal, stick around if you want to split a bucket of bug lights with a sad sack. Otherwise, I've got nothing for you. Oh crap, I'm gonna need to try and find those handcuffs. God damn it! Bug lights. <laughs> uh... uh. Oh, do you know what? Let's go change into Astro Dog and we'll go to the spaceship. <laughs> Astro Dog! And now we need to go to the spaceship, which is this way. I don't think I need to 100% this in order to progress. That that would be silly. Especially if things just magically disappear. <laughs> and the great celestial squid lord, you must be the space side assistants I radioed in. What the fuck are you? As you can see, my vessel is bought. Oh, you're an alien. Michele thought it might be the flim floor fian conf later, but when the ham shop wasn't buzzing, I knew it couldn't be related to the heated by moisture assembly. Martian engineering, am I right? Next time, I'm buying American. <laughs> In any case, we're one ride shy of a full-scale invasion. Now I realise my escape velocity calculations were misjudged. Gravity is one son of a gun. It's a simple weight problem. I could get down, but now I can't get back up. I need someone lighter than me to take this bad boy home. You look trim. Think you can handle it? Here's the keys. Just go up there and tell my team to get their floor buns down here. You'll know them when you see them. 
You took the credit for your second symphony. Aside from the first G's of galactic whiplash you'll feel on re-entry, it'll be smooth sailing. One last thing, my friend Dip Chong works the entry port and his auto translator is stuck on adolescent vernacular. Just ignore him. Okay. I will. I will ignore him. Welcome, Captain. The others are waiting for you. Oh shit, we're going into space! Let's go! <laughs> yeah, it does actually. Oh shit, we're on the moon! I'm home! I'm finally home! What's good, fam? Space be bussin'. The Earth hit different, for real, for real. Captain's over by the telescope. Can't miss him. He got the human drip like me. No cap. <laughs> uh, go find him so we can get this invasion started. Moondog.com Hey guys! Martian boys. Moon boys. Uh, okay. Scoop up the candy. Place is huge. Who up scooping that candy? Me. I am the candy scooper. Oh, 2,000 candy, exactly. Nice. Uh, okay. I see more candy. What are they doing on this planet? Uh, on this moon? I'd be concerned. You look very dapper, sir. Oh, uh, you're not Globus. What happened? Bayside assistance, of course. I told that moron we had an inflamed flim flawfy and conflobulator three eons ago. But he didn't listen. Uh can't believe I let him convince me to buy Martians. But, can't let a little speed bump ruin an invasion. I'm ready when you are. Meet you at the ship. Did he just say invasion? I, th I think we're gonna do an invasion. Weather balloons. So much going on. Demi four times three. Wahaha! These imbecile humans have no idea what's in store for them. Now that I think about it, neither do I. Do you know what that leaves in store for them? Uh, no, I don't. Probably an Ika Masumi level invasion. I presume I just go to the ship, right? Or this dude. <clears throat> uh. Give me all the candy! What does Demi 4 times 3 equals? I don't know.
Hello? Nice hat. Uh, I sure am excited for the total domination of Earth. Total domination is like my favorite thing. And mine. Y yeah, I guess I go back to the spaceship. Spacecraft station. Uh, I'm not done on the moon, not yet, because I've just seen some candy. Once all the humans are in chains, I'm going to mock them. I've been practicing human style mocking and become a sort of an expert, you freaking clown. Oh, how rude. Okay. Uh, I think I'm ready. Sup? So, Sir so Fam Jam, we about to get lit on clap that earth. Okay. Is that how young people talk? Yes. His dialogue is me an aneurysm. <laughs> Why do we just have a rocket launch pad in town? Thank you so much for your help. Your bravery will not go unnoticed when the reckoning begins. There you are, Globus, you fool. Yes, sir. Let's just hope you don't screw anything else up on our path to universal domination. I'll do my best, sir. Let's begin. As always, we start with vaporizing the flora, beginning with this big green... What is this? It smells wonderful! Uh, you don't have a rocket pad? You're too good for us? I don't have a rocket pad, unfortunately. Or a T-Rex. Uh, why do you have a liver dinosaur on your town? Great questions. Great questions all around. A tree, sir. Bet. They see a tree. Let's put a pin in that. Perhaps we should vaporize the four Uh, what first? I found this, sir. I believe they call it a squirrel. Have it! Let's just charge up my ray gun and... Oh, no, 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 no. He's too small for it to be worth a battery charge. In fact, I'm going to keep this curious little specimen personally for uh, research, of course. What about the frets? Is there any intelligent life here uh, on Diptrong? What are you doing? My bee, boss man, smell good, not gonna lie. It does. This might require further study. For you loyal Speyside assistants, we cannot thank you enough. You'll be paid greatly for your help in the takeover of this wonderful smelling, a delightful little planet. May the great Celestial Squid Lord bless you with eternal rewards. <clears throat> thank you, Cthulhu. Uh, now excuse me as I investigate the so-called marshmallow and it wouldn't hurt to keep tabs on these grand crackers either. Yeah! Fuck matter. He did it. <laughs> Mutnip. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know how I get these free. Um What are the crustaceans? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, I am going to call it there for tonight, folks. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find a guide and uh, see if I can figure out where the other stuff is. Thank you, everyone, for joining me tonight. I hope you had a great time for wholesome Halloween. Uh, take care of yourselves. I am back on uh, Saturday. Now, the plan was to do Driftwood. But uh, I don't think I'll be doing that because I'm too much of a scaredy cat. But uh, I've got I've got plans for another game that's very cute but still Halloween themed. So look forward to doing that.
Um, uh, thank you, everyone. Take care. And uh, Astrobot will be back. Don't worry. That will be back after spooky times. Uh, Seva goes to Tsushima. Bye-bye, everyone. I love you all so, so much. Bye-bye-bye. Mwah. 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 Kisses. Bye-bye-bye. 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 Mwah-mwah.